A controversy is brewing at the state legislature over a bill that gives patients the right to die. Opponents argue the bill destroys the value of life, but one non man says it's his choice to die with dignity. Dylan Anchetta has a story. At just 52 years old, DeMont Connor is fighting for his life. It came as a total, complete shock. In February 2015, he went to the hospital for what he thought was a sinus attack. Doctors found out it was much worse. Then they said, we're going to have to put you in the hospital. We're going to admit you into the hospital. I said, for what? And they said, well, you have chronic myelosis leukemia. He was in emergency care that evening. For the next two years, Connor would undergo harsh chemo treatments that eventually took a toll on his body. My mouth was all burnt. My throat was burnt because chemo is a poison, yeah? I was puking my guts out, I was, everything was bad. Until he realized that's not how he wanted to live. He eventually stopped his chemotherapy. When people say, wow, you cut your chemotherapy, you like die. I said, no, I'm not, I'm not choosing to die. I'm choosing to live. Senate Bill 1129 would grant terminally ill patients the right to get medical help from their doctor to end their lives. And Connor supports the measure's intent. It's uh, giving you the choice to avoid needless suffering. Religious groups and pro-life organizations have taken a stance against the bill, saying it will destroy life and put patients at risk for abuse. Now the bill is over 30 pages long, and there are safeguards within the measure to protect patients. Safeguards include getting a second doctor's opinion, the right to cancel at any time, and patients must be in the right state of mind when making the decision. A recent study found just over 76% of Hawaii residents polled support medical aid in dying. Governor David Ige tweeted his support, saying, If that bill comes to my desk, I most definitely will sign it. And that support is promising for DeMont Connor as he decides how he lives and how he dies. Every single person has the right to choose. A committee has since deferred the measure, but there is no doubt discussion will continue. Dylan Achetta, UHM TV.